Mr. Hakim, there seems to be an awful lot of Greeks around lately. Hardly. I'm Turkish. I've never seen a Turk with blue eyes. My mother was not Turkish. That's a coincidence. Neither was mine. Mr. Marlowe, I believe in coming directly to the point. So much precious time is wasted in this world. Yeah, well, my time is not all that precious. Uh, thank you, son. Aren't you having something cool? I rarely drink or smoke. Mr. Marlowe, you'll find that I'm a candid man. The question is, have you ever heard of the eyes of Alexander? I'm pretty candid myself. The answer is yes. Are you acquainted with the history of the eyes? Not really. I know that they were once part of a statue and worth quite a bit of money. That, sir, is the understatement of the ages. That's about all I know. Volumes could be written on the subject. <laughs> Permit me to summarize briefly. Go ahead. In 334 before Christ, Alexander of Macedonia commissioned a bust of himself to be sculptured. The eyes of the statue were to be the two most perfectly matched blue sapphires in the world. The search for the sapphires began. When did it end? Nearly ten years later. One of the sapphires came from Ceylon, the other from Kashmir. But by then, Alexander lay on his deathbed in Babylon. According to legend, the bust with the blue sapphire eyes was the last thing on earth Alexander ever saw. You got another beer? Please, my house is your house. But that was only the beginning of the history of the statue. You got any American beer? This stuff tastes greenish to me. I believe so. The bust became part of the succession of conquerors. Romans, Celts, Gauls, Huns, Franks, Ottomans. After nearly 2,000 years, the statue was in the possession of Ali Pasha. A band of Greek renegades stole the bus from Istanbul and smuggled it into Greece. There it remained for more than a hundred years when the Germans invaded. The Blitzkrieg boys, eh, Wolfie? Mm, yeah, <laughs> Blitzkrieg. Mr. Zindonov spent some time in Greece during the war. I'll wager he was wearing gray with a crooked cross on his armband. General Zindonov found out where the statue was hidden. He managed to secure the bust smash it to pieces, remove the sapphires, and then hide them only hours prior to the Allied takeover. A little post-war insurance, eh, huh, Wolfie? The general 